We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A World of the Spirit, March 13th. We have entered the world of the Spirit. Our next function is to grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. It should continue for our lifetime. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. The word entered and the phrase entered into the world of the Spirit are very significant. They imply action, a beginning, getting into, a prerequisite to maintaining my spiritual growth, the Spirit being the immaterial part of me. Barriers to my spiritual growth are self-centeredness and a materialistic focus on worldly things. Spirituality means devotion to a spiritual instead of worldly things. It means obedience to God's will for me. I understand spiritual things to be unconditional love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and humility. Anytime I allow selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear to be a part of me, I block out spiritual things. As I maintain my sobriety, growing spiritually becomes a lifelong process. My goal is spiritual growth, accepting that I'll never have spiritual perfection. Making amends in Step 9 yields the promises of Step 9 before we are halfway through. We are going to know a new happiness and a new freedom because we have worked the prior steps and we now face ourselves to others for the first time, admitting our faults and making restitution when appropriate. We know that God removed our character defects in step seven. It's a daily process. The willingness to accept the consequences is new and we don't shy away from it because we have a higher power in our lives that we know will protect us and remove our fears. We only know a little, and we have belief in our higher power, who we know, we know in our hearts, will teach us more when we keep close to Him and perform His work well. It is the circle of life. The circle of sobriety is when we get out of the way. We get rid of our fearful selfishness, and let our higher power express himself through us. Our lives now prioritize helping others in order for us to feel better and to eradicate our selfishness. We stay sober by helping others. One man sharing with another their experience, strength, and hope. That new man continues the process going forward with another suffering alcoholic, and so on and so on. It has been this way since Bill and Bob found Bill D, AA number three, in the hospital way back in 1935. When we are wrong, which happens in sobriety, because we're not perfect, we immediately make amends and redouble our prayer and commit to doing better in the future. When we are wrong, we make amends. When others are wrong, we forgive them. Love and tolerance is our code. A World of the Spirit, March 13th. We have entered the world of the Spirit. Our next function is to grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. It should continue for our lifetime. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. The word entered and the phrase entered into the world of the Spirit are very significant. They imply action, a beginning, getting into, a prerequisite to maintaining my spiritual growth, the spirit being the immaterial part of me. Barriers to my spiritual growth are self-centeredness and a materialistic focus on worldly things. 
Spirituality means devotion to a spiritual instead of worldly things. It means obedience to God's will for me. I understand spiritual things to be unconditional love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and humility. Anytime I allow selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear to be a part of me, I block out spiritual things. As I maintain my sobriety, growing spiritually becomes a lifelong process. My goal is spiritual growth, accepting that I'll never have spiritual perfection. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.